Hey, traders, what's going on? Jamie Setley here. It is July 29th, and welcome to the Power Hour. Again, I'm Jamie Setley with Scandinavian Capital Markets and SB Trade Desk. And let's start just with a general uh, overview of the dollar. So I posted this chart on Twitter yesterday. Um, this is a perfect example of what we call symmetry with median lines okay so again to draw a pitchfork uh, you've got a high low or high or a low high and low in this case obviously we have a high low and high and this is a longer term structure but you can see how you know equidistant from the median line you've got perfect support and perfect resistance okay obviously this is uh, appropriate to discuss right now because just last week, in fact, it was last Wednesday, we nailed that parallel um, that was resistance last October and September. So, you know, despite all the uh, fundamentals of everyone talking about, you know, dollar bullishness, blah, 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 positioning, you know, big, you know, consensus dollar bears, we have indeed rolled over. Okay. Now, the question is where would support? come into play so my thinking and again this is the same chart with the same structure but with a little more detail um, i'm looking towards the top side of this trend line which was former resistance okay that blue line right there uh, that's also going to come in just under the 50-day average so at the moment that's going to be about 11 780 or so um, you know, you've got some decent horizontal levels there. You've got former resistance here. Uh, you've got a minor support here back from December. So generally speaking, I am looking lower in the dollar until we get there or until there's reason to change uh, that opinion. And that could be something like a big, you know, uh, upside reversal, uh, outside bullish day. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, depend on, on the specific pairs. So let's zoom in to dxy so here we're working with a bullish fork and i'm on an hourly chart here let's go to a four hour so you can see the whole thing and again this is a opposite example so we've got low high low right so we've got that bullish fork in play and we nailed that median line uh and pulled back again that was last wednesday the 21st we also filled a gap or what I call an uncovered close back from April. That's where we were looking for resistance, just above 93. We hit 93.19, we've pulled back, uh, you know, it's just textbook. And you can see here, we've got an even shorter term structure. So you can see the, uh, you know, what I call the uh, multiple degrees of trend with median lines. And you can see this center line right here, which was support. Uh, I guess that would have been two days ago. We bounced. If we get a little bounce, which we're bouncing here early in the U.S. session, you're going to look for resistance there. It's going to be about 92.30, which is actually in line with this low. So how does this all play into a trade setup? Well, for euro, you'd be looking to you know buy a dip on euro once DXY bounced up to about 92.30. Support for DXY, probably 91.50.75. And if you just look to the left of the chart, you can see the big levels, right? That was almost a year ago, last August, big high there, congestion here, low here back in late June. And that's also going to intersect with your parallel from this short-term bearish fork. So you've got uh, a lot there, well-defined horizontal levels along with parallels to you know look for support. All right, so again, two, two levels to you know trade over the next few days or week. 92.30 resistance, 91.50.75 support for DXY. So as you know, uh, or should know, I am uh, working with Scandinavian Capital Markets as the chief technical strategist. Uh, we're based in Stockholm. Uh, Scandinavian Markets is a market maker. And we are looking for profitable traders to join our ranks. We have clients all over the globe. Uh, that are looking for more strategies to invest in. So if you are a profitable trader and you would like to get into the money manager world, 
um, you know, all goes according to plan and things go well, you can get your, uh, you know, you can get your strategy funded with up to $2 million. Okay. So come and show us your skills. Uh, to register, go to scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trades. Again, that is scandinavianmarkets.com slash fund my trades.